I've used three different clubs to hit those chip shots. The first one, the lowest one, was a nine iron. Uh, second one was a 52 degree uh, wedge. And the last one, the highest one, was the 60. So the first shot was with a nine iron. We call that a chip and run shot. Uh, I chipped it a little bit and it ran a long way. Which actually, given this circumstance, was the correct shot to play. We're all better judging a running ball, generally speaking. So I have a ball here and if you wanted to try this when you're practicing, just throw it underarm to the target. Okay? And you'd find that you're gonna make a, a follow through, you've got a lovely rhythm to it. And that's what we really wanna get in short game. It is very instinctive. I'm not really thinking about how far I'm gonna take it back or go through. I'm just visualizing the shot. All right. I have a little bit of angle in the shaft here. My hands are slightly ahead of the ball and the weight is slightly left. I can sort of touch my left knee here. And then I'm just trying to make almost, in my mind, mentally, uh, like a putting style swing. Because very often when we do short game or people make a mistake of going back way back here, we do need some length in the swing for feel, but the overcut this and then decelerate into the ball. So for a chip and run shot, whether it be an eight iron, I've got the nine here, think of it more of a putting uh, style. Indeed, a lot of players use a putting grip. That's all right. That's good if I'll do one, okay? And I'm just trying to visualize a pull. Oops. All right. So here I am now by the side of the green. Uh, I've got just the edge of the bunker to go over. And there's quite a bit of fringe there I've got to try and carry. So I can't use my nine iron because I'd risk um, chipping it in the bunker or it's in the fringe. I've now got a choice to make and I've chosen now the 52 degree more lofted wedge okay which should carry me onto the green nicely and up to the flag uh, I'm going to make exactly the same swing or a feel as well making exactly the same swing that I made with a 9 iron chip and run shot okay so something like this okay so correct choice hit that a little bit too big but I took the risk out of hitting it in the bunker or on the fringe uh, and I've got a whatever it is a four foot foot for par. Here I am now to the right of the green and I've got to go over all the bunker and the fringe uh, to the flag. If my ball were no more than a pace back here on the flat I'd probably use my 52 degree wedge again. That would make sense. Uh, it would get there no problem. But I'm not. I'm actually on the down slope of the edge of the bunker here. So, because I'm on a downhill, the ball generally will go lower. So I've chosen now my 60 degree wedge, my most lofted wedge. High tariff shot, okay? So, the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna really lean left, get my shoulders down the slope to negate the slope. I've got my most lofted club, so that should be sufficient. And I'm gonna maintain a rhythm so easy to panic in these situations. I'm trying to relax my grip. I'm trying to stay relaxed. I'm visualizing a lovely smooth swing to get that ball to the hole. Okay, I'm really staying focused on, on rhythm and calm. To summarize, first shot with a nine iron, the chip and run shot. You could use a 7 iron, an 8 iron. I, I just like using a 9 iron, to be perfectly honest, for chip and run shots. When you've got a lot of space in front of you, that's your go-to, that's your safe shot. As long as there's nothing in front of you, you know, a hill or a bunker or something. Indeed, if you have, then I would go to the 52. Um, that's my go-to club around the green. I really enjoy using the 52. Um, you know, for over little lumps and bumps to get your ball onto the green, etc. If you have if I have to go over a bunker but there's the flags at the back of the green I've got plenty of space I'd probably use the 52. If the flag is nearer the bunker you don't have a lot of space to work a lot of green to work with I go to the 60. Okay most lofty club to get that ball landing on the green softly. You know so don't be frightened experiment don't try and add loft at all just use the loft that's on that golf club all right you'll be fine.
And if you can have a little bit more of an armory of shots around the green, your scores will definitely come down. Definitely come down. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. That'll be good.